Artist Micah Gogan is here, and he has brought these amazing sun catchers. They have kind of a vintage feel, don't they? Yeah, they do. They're actually heirloom light catchers, so that way you can capture the memories of your family and also use them for ornamental purposes as well. That is so cool. So how are we going to get started? All right, so we're going to start just by uh, taking just a wooden vignette. Um, you can get these at a basic craft store. Um, you can also use laser cut ones as well, but I feel like the products are really um, uh, showcased a little bit more when they are on a flat, uh, broad surface. So we're going to just use a rounded one. We're actually going to be creating this one here. Um, um, in uh, the center with the glitter on it. And, and I think, you know, it just makes the pattern stand out. So if you were stamping on it, if you were painting on it, if you really want the pattern to show, that's why to use a flat surface as opposed to a laser cut one. Correct. Both have uh, nice properties for different reasons. I'm going to take a brush and just some uh, basic acrylic paint. And again, because of the one that we're doing, I'm going to use a dark color. You could choose to use a light color or you can even marble them together if you like as well. I'm going to take the acrylic and we're just going to coat the surface. And this is going to not only make it dark but it's actually going to give it something for the additional uh, products to stick to. So we're just going to coat. So this is just a regular wood frame now if you had if you had like one that was ceramic or something like that could you use that or does it have to be painted wood? So it doesn't have to be painted wood. With, with the marbling paints you can actually do them on clay, uh, leather, um, you can do them on all kinds of surfaces um, but we're just going to be doing the the wooden vignettes just because of the multi-purpose for the way they can be displayed. So I'm going to continue to paint and it's important to do both sides. I'm going to set this one aside and, and pull the one that I have here that's already been painted on both sides. You can make sure that you have a smooth uh, surface to work from. And then we're gonna work with our marbling paints, which is very exciting. So I'm just gonna grab this bucket and bring it over. I have to confess that the first time I tried using marbling paints, I didn't know what to do with myself and I started to try to marble every single thing in my house because it was so much fun. It's addictive for sure. Now we definitely wanna do it in an open ventilated area and I always wanna wear gloves because it can get it, um, you really don't want adhesive. to marble your fingers. Right. So I'm going to take, uh, for me, one thing I like to do is use some uh, gauged aluminum wire. This is an 18 gauge. And I just like to snip a piece off that I've already done here. And I kind of create my own little um, support system that holds it um, out. This is a little bit better than if you were using thread. And these already had ornamental holes, so I'm just going to thread it through with the wire and twist it. And what it does is it makes a firm and rigid support so that I can dip effectively into more versatile this than This totally strain. reminds me of dying Easter eggs. Yeah. You know that little wire thing that you kind Cut of the did? the egg in. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, totally. Now you definitely want to shake your um, marbling paints up. I'm going to be using a combination of opaque, pearlescent, and glitter here. And so they have an open time of about a minute. So you have to work pretty rapidly. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tops off as well. I'm getting nervous. Yep. I'm getting nervous. I think this is one of the things where people struggle a lot um, with uh, various drying time things, which is the feeling that you are feeling rushed. And I think some of the things that helps is exactly what you're doing, which is you have all your supplies right there. You're ready to go. Yep. And I'm just going to sprinkle some in. I'm starting with some gray. Oh, you're generous. I'm yeah, you just want to pile it in. I'm going to go in with some red glitter. This Ooh. is the color shift, so it's actually glitter gold green. And then I've got some white pearl. And then I want to take another piece of the wire, and I'm actually going to use that to just create a very energetic effect, just nothing fancy. And then I'm going to take my dip, because remember I'm working on the minute time, and I'm just going to kerplunk at an angle and pull it up, and just wow, you've got the glitterific. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. That is so amazing. And both sides are done. So you can kind of pick which side you like better, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, to be the front. But since this is transparent, people are going to be able to see it from the back as well. Correct. So for the next phase, we want to pick some sentimental photos. They can be family members, pets, etc. I love the idea of doing these as Christmas ornaments or light catchers that you can hang in the window because you can honor the, the family member or the loved one um, each tradition. So we're going to be using some inkjet clear film. So this is printable film that you can do on both sides. You do not have to worry about it being reflexive. You can just print straight on it. And you can uh, print multiple images on one sheet. So I've just tested with a few here. But uh, again, working with gloved fingers because I don't want fingerprints on the image as well. So how am I going to get it to line up, you might be asking. I'm going to take the image and I'm going to put the vignette around it the way that I want just to center the image. And then I'm just going to slide it over and hold it upside down. And I'm just going to take a regular permanent marker and I'm just going to draw just an easy 
flowing line around just so that I know that I've captured it in there. And then very loose and playful, I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut the oval shape out. And it doesn't obviously need to be exact, right? No, mm -mm. the line's just there to guide me so that I don't overcut or undercut, but it doesn't have to be exacting. And so now that I've got the uh, shape, I'm going to actually adhere it. Now for this purpose, I'm gonna use just a double-sided adhesive sheet. I keep my scraps handy dandy in here so that I can cut more off. And so I'm just gonna cut a strip and I've got a couple there. I was gonna say, I just started this cause it, you know, you need fingernails to get in here. Thank you. And then once you've cut I'll a little strip. I'll start that one for you if you want. Thank you. And then I'm just gonna take the strip pull it off and I'm gonna see which side is tacky sticky and I'm just gonna layer it on the front or back, whatever you wanna label and I can snip this. Now obviously you wanna use some sort of adhesive that's gonna be transparent because it, you're using something Thank that you. is transparent. Yes, and when I pull this off, there's just little micro beads, so they're not very visible at all, um, but it's very easy just to pull off and it's just enough grab to hold the image on so I can place it strategically so that I can showcase the portrait through the it's center. It's beautiful and it's so transparent, which we can see. We can see your beautiful purple shirt through there or the brown paper through it or whatever you put it in front of. And I was gonna say that's so cool then for a window where you could see the sky through it. Mm -hmm. So what do we do to finish it off? Well, we can embellish it with some ribbon. So again, it's got the perfect hole here that makes it just awesome for ornaments. And so all we have to do is just thread the ribbon through and you can tie a variety of bows. Again, it's probably gonna take fingers to do that. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, but we have some beautiful finished examples here that we can look at. I love these. I love the idea of keeping your loved ones close to you. You could do current photos, old photos, pets, you know, whatever it is you like. Thanks so much, Micah. Thank you.